came to work, came in, put my resters in and everything. Everything was doing okay. And probably, I'd say 20 minutes in, I started feeling funny. Kathy stated that she wasn't feeling good. And uh, I told her, I said, Kathy, I said, if you're not feeling well, I want you to go home. And she's like, no, she, she refused to, you know, go home. So I, about 10, 15 minutes later, she stated, she's like, I think I'm having chest pains. And I'm like, we need to, we need to call the emergency squad. And she refused that care also. So I called the assistant manager back and they took her to the back office. And on the way back there, I'm like, you know, we should probably offer her up some aspirin if she wants to take some. So we grabbed the bottle of aspirin off and I, I told the staff to have her take some aspirin. I said, Doug said, take this. So I took two 81 milligram aspirins. And then it was just probably five, 10 minutes later, Elizabeth came and said, Doug said, take two more. And Doug, he kept going back and forth with Elizabeth to see how I was doing. And I'm like, Elizabeth, you need to, we need to get her out of here ASAP because I'm, I'm you know, if she's complaining of having chest pains, I, I don't want to, got to take that seriously. So they called my son and my son came and got me and Elizabeth took me out to the car, made sure I got the car okay and shut the door for me. And then I went to the emergency room. She was actually having a heart attack, so. Um, and but the funny part of it is, Kathy kept us up to date the entire time while she was going to and from hospitals that she was having a heart attack. And uh, so, yeah, it's fortunate we, you know, we took care of her and, and got her out of there expeditiously. He just took charge. I mean, he knew exactly what to do, everything. He was great. I probably died if I kept on working because I'm stubborn. I am a stubborn woman. <laughs> but I don't think I'd be here today without the help of them. Yeah, I'm planning on staying here until God calls me home or they say, you're too old, you need to go. 